and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, Bob. Brad, of today. Of course, I mean, of course. Yeah, right, say it right. I Don't know. Don't start off wrong, on the wrong foot here. Today we're going to talk about 10 things you need to avoid with neck and arm pain, oh. Brad. And this is very uh, relevant. I just had a patient who was going through this. He was getting pain from his neck all the way down into his hand. He was getting numbness in the first, mm. uh, these two fingers right here. Classical radicular symptoms, Yes, huh? it is. And uh, um, these are all the things I went through with him. And he's a really good patient. He listens to everything I say. I mean, that's what Wow. Sure yeah, that's hard to find. <laughs> but, um, and because of it, he really has gotten better. Yeah. I mean, and, and within a week, he started getting oh. better. And he was really concerned because... You know, once you start getting numbness yeah. and, and weakness. Yeah, then those fingers don't start to work properly. It affects a lot of part, you know, a right. good part of your life. Right. So, by the way, wh what we're holding here, by the way, is a NAPO. It's a back support memory foam, and it's a lumbar support. I mean, lumbar or low back. Right. And it's a pillow cushion. It's for low back pain. It's for home office car use. You're going to want to like us on Facebook because we're giving away three of these. All right. So uh, the contest has already started. I, I, we're going to run it for at least a week. Sure. So just all you have to do is go in and like that post. Yeah, look at this. Very nice. Nice yeah. cushion. We'll Anyways, show it a little bit later, too. Let's get on with the show. By the way, uh, if you're also new to our channel and you're on YouTube, uh, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. All right, Brad, let's get started. Let's go to work. First thing, Brad, I always say to people, you know, when they got the nerve is coming out of the neck, it's, maybe it's getting pinched, and that's usually the case. Mm -hmm. uh, we got to take some, uh, it really helps to take some of the weight off that arm. Sure. I mean, that it's not hanging. Mm -hmm. And so I all, this I always do with people. I grab, I have a, then take a couple pills. I say whenever possible, you know, throughout the day, go ahead and support that arm. Uh, you know, this is the arm that I'm sure. having trouble with. Right. Um, even at work. But definitely, you know, when you're at home, right. when you're in the car, if you can, you know, if you can support it yep. by putting it on maybe that, the middle part there. Or right. Some cars have that flip down arm support. Right. A lot of times you forget about it. I do anyways. I flip it down and rest my elbow yeah. on there. You certainly can do it at home. You may have a little more trouble at work. But this is a big thing. It really makes a big right. difference on people. So. Right. You know, if you're sitting in a recliner relaxing, get some pillows out like this. And you'll notice your difference. arm is not when it's hanging like this. It is putting stress on the nerves. Sure. So as well as, we get, well as some of the postural yeah, muscles. Yeah, we got to get those nerves to calm down. Yep. Second thing, Brad, we're going to mention is uh, avoid overhead activities. This is just pinching those nerves more yet. The, uh, the muscles and everything are coming together and putting a little bit of stress on the nerves. Right. This is putting a little extra crunch on there. Right. So overhead and low activities. Because when you're like this, Brad. Same thing. You're going to get pinched in here. Right. So Plus that brings the head forward and that we're going to bring up that topic as well. That's the next one, Brad. All well, right. Let's, let's talk about that. So we've mentioned this in many videos. Um, a lot of times posture is going to be a big issue with, with when, you have a, when you're having neck and arm pain. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it comes from this. You've got right. the forehead posture. You're working at the desk, or you're working, you know, with a book. Maybe I don't know. People still have books. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. Or, or you're driving, watching TV, on right. a, a couch that maybe doesn't. If you're come driving up. and your seat goes way back, like the, you put it back like this, what are you going to do? You're going to go like this. Right. That's why you want to have your seat upright when you're in the car. Right. So you're going to want to stop that forward head posture. So we always have people do chin tucks. Yep. Tucking yeah. your chin in, not going chin. down, not going up, just t bringing it back, lining your ears up with your shoulders. Sure. Um, the next one is, it's another, again, postural thing you want to avoid is the forward shoulder. So if your thumbs are in, yep. you know, then you know things are going in. we got this to this, which makes a big difference on where that nerve uh, pathway goes right through the bone under the first rib and the first clav and the clavicle can yep. really help crunch things, making those symptoms down in the hand and arm Worse. more you know, yeah. prevalent. Mm -hmm. So you're getting yeah, pinched in the neck and then you can get even pinched down here a little bit sure. uh, um, yep. further down. We need to open that hole up and get that You want to show posture. how you do that with a, a bolster or we can make oh. your own or you can... Yep. You know, you can, you can do this with a, a six inch roll like this that you can purchase. You don't have to have one. You can take a, a towel roll, roll it up like we did here and we tape this with some nice duct tape, red duct tape so you can see it. Usually you like a pillow with this, don't you? Yeah. Man? I, I do if I'm using the short homemade bolster, but this is a nice way you put this right between your shoulder blades. 
and then you're just going to lay there and you might want to have another one to put under your bottom or some pillows here and then you're just going to lay there it all depends on your structure. I don't really mind this, but I know some people might feel uncomfortable with it. Let the shoulders back and relax. And I'm feeling a pretty significant stretch here, and it's pretty comfortable. I would need one more pillow or so go like this. So this one works better, right? Brian? Oh, yeah. You're saying. This is the by OPTP, uh, OPTP.com. It's a nice uh, foam roller. Yeah, this I find much more comfortable. And it does a better job as far as that posture. So this is the lazy man's way to good posture here. Yeah. Because oh, thank you for You the just time. need to lay down, and it's a passive motion, and you can just let it stretch out like this, and it works out really well. And you take a deep breath laying like this with a good posture, and it's clear you're getting more, uh, more volume of oxygen and air into your lungs. You can just tell the, the lungs, the rib cage opens yeah, it up is better. Good. It is good for breathing. You you're bet. right. That's one of the concerns when you start having bad posture is that you're not taking in as uh, oxygen as well. Right, you? and that affects you as well. Um, the other thing you want to avoid, on, not, we're on number five, is static postures, meaning you don't want to just sit there and focus on a task for, you know, hours upon hours. Right. Even if you're in perfect posture, right. even that's not good if you're in that posture for more than, you know, 20 minutes to an hour. That is an excellent hour. point, Brad, yep. because you you people are thinking, yeah, it. I'm looking good, why can't I just stay there? It's like, no, you better do some shoulder rolls or do some of the exercises that we're going to talk about next. Exactly. Which um, um, will help you. So the, the number six thing is, uh, and I'm skipping ahead here, I'm going to skip back to the other one, is you want to make sure you're doing the right neck exercise. Sure. Because uh, usually if we're going to have luck with this going away, is you got to find the one movement that is going to make it go away. Right. Because there usually is one. Sometimes it takes a little finagling to get it, yep. but but one of them, you know, that we usually start, you know, we usually start having to do the, the chin the tuck chin just to tuck. get it into right position and, and to kind of loosen things up a little bit, and then we work on extension. Now, a lot of people, even though it might be the right direction, it may not feel that way right away. Right, yep. and you may need to use a towel roll or something to support it. Right. Uh, a lot of people, I think, think because the muscles are tight back here, you know, they're tight here, I better stretch it, so they're going like this. And they might even pull their head. See a lot of people doing this that. way, and often, most most of the times, it's not the right way that to go. That actually is probably the worst thing you can do, right? Because you're like that all day long. Right. We don't need to stretch. Usually, quite often, the right direction is the opposite of what you were doing. Right. And so, um, this is a strap by OPTP. We just kind of discovered that this works well for it this. Works really it? well for this. So you can actually you can go down below like this and go back. And you can also go up and go work on different levels. Sure. And, and go back like this. And this will help you extend your neck um, almost universally, doesn't it, Brad? Yeah, if, if you don't have one of those straps, they work out for a lot of things. Yeah, you can, you can just take, just a, take towel. a towel roll like this, and that works, is, works well, too. You know, I think a lot of people get confused because they don't, and this is something you have to study, but head forward posture, they think their head is up, which is true, but your low neck yeah, it's flex. It's flex forward, so you're going to have to That's believe That's a good distinction, that. yeah. We should do a video on that one. Yeah, that, you're right, Brad. I agree. Um, the other direction that often is helpful is, um, and that was the one that worked with this patient. I started in with this. It just didn't work. And then we went to, uh, to the direction where the pain was at. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we did a chin tuck, and then he went to the right. Chin tuck, his, his arm pain was on the right, and to the right. Chin tuck, and he'd bend to the right. And then eventually I even had him do a little bit of overpressure, Brad. Right. And he and responded well to that? He, he didn't, you know, it didn't for a day. Yeah. You know, it, it, he just like, oh, it didn't get worse. And then by the second and third day, he, it started getting much better. Okay, so, so the arm symptoms start to, start to go away? Right. Hand and arm? Yep, yep, yep. good. It, it was, uh, I think we took him from the brink there. Um, another thing that a mistake that a lot of people you need to avoid is obviously when you're working at a, at a desk or a, a computer, is having the keyboard too low. If the keyboard is, you know, is uh, not the keyboard, the screen. If the screen, screen is too low, <laughs> and the keyboard's too low, but if the screen is too low, you're going to go down to it. Right. Yep. So, so this is Bob. We got a magical desk here. You, you know, usually you don't have something that cranks like this, but they have some nice desks that just. It's going to take a while to get up to my level, but this is where if you use a laptop, you almost need to have a separate keyboard. Yep. Uh, exactly. And you can put that on your lap. And now here, I'm looking straight at the screen instead of having to come down to it. Right, so that so, promotes that good posture without right. you thinking about it as and much. And especially if you work at a computer all day long. Right. Uh, bad sleeping postures, Brad, if oh, you don't mind. Yeah. I don't mind, Bob, <laughs> I really don't mind. 
just very basic here. Um, if you're sleeping on your back, generally you're going to only want to have one pillow or a thin pillow mm -hmm. because you don't want to be up like this all night long. Look how I'm flexed all night long. All right. So his, his head's up here, his ears are over the top of his shoulders. Yeah, uh, not it, a good static right. pos position yeah. to be in if all If you're night. watching TV at night and you do that, take a pillow out and throw the TV out in the living room. There we go. <laughs> The other one is um, when you lay on your side, then you can use two pillows because I want to put myself right in the middle. Exactly. So, All right, we got to make up the space for the shoulder there. Right. And Bob's got those broad shoulders, so he probably needs yeah. another pillow. Very funny. All right, and you definitely don't want to sleep with your arms above your head. Right? Yeah. You don't want to sleep on your stomach. That's a good way to really pinch and know that, that right. nerve even more. All right, cell phone use, Brad. Everybody's got a cell phone, a smartphone nowadays. And well, what not do they everybody, do? Bob. But a lot of them. 95%. They're, they're down like this. Yeah. So you want to do where you actually do the short arms like this and you bring them up to you. What do you call that? The Rex? Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex yeah, arms. If you watched that movie. Yeah. What was that name? Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park. It's an right. older one now already. Yeah, it is. So look at that. This See, as opposed the, to this. Right. Yeah. And I catch myself on this myself, Brad. I'm oh, like, yeah. What am I doing down here? Right. Bring it up here. I'm so. thinking there's some kind of invention you could mount on your some where you couldn't wouldn't even have to hold on to it keep your posture up prevent they tried injury. that with the glasses brad, brad the google glasses they were going to do that but oh yeah uh, we'll, they'll yeah. eventually eventually plant it in your eyes the last <laughs> thing is that uh you're going to want to do is you're going to uh, avoid bad chairs especially soft chairs yeah, yeah let, this right this is a good example of a exactly bad chair. um if you're in like on a couch um and, and you sink into the couch you're going to go into bad posture yeah. but look at this one this there's no way to sit in here with good posture. Right. And uh, look at this. This has an up and down adjustment, and I already tested. This is as high as this chair goes. Oh, it is. Now, Bob's a taller person. If you look at his knee versus, I got to get the stick out for this, Bob. Let's line, look at this. You want your hips higher than your knee, and it takes some pressure off your back. Uh, this chair is just terrible, yeah. especially for a taller person. And this is where, you, you know, this Napo, Napo uh, lumbar support actually would work real well, Brad. Right, take up some space to get yep. you up. It's not going to get see, you at, higher, look, but look it's going to... See, it, it, it kind of corrects my posture. Sure. You see that? It puts me right up in the uh, uh, upright posture. Exactly. So it, 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 it can correct a lot of bad chairs. And I've never seen one of these that have memory foam, so I, I kind of yeah. like this. It is interesting. Yeah. You're going to try it in your car. We're, so. we're going to fight who's going to get that yeah. one. <laughs> All right. Wow, Bob. That was number 10. Time went really fast. Yeah, it did. That's Remember, Brad and I can fix just about anything. Oh, yeah, but except for that, here it comes, the broken heart. i got to give room for it. Yeah, there get it out of the way. Okay. Yeah, We should get one that beats. I know. That would be fun. All right, thanks.